Y'all gonna have to wait a minute. That's a jam, Wilson. All right, all right, all right, fine. We'll go ahead and do the show. Man, that's my jam. If that song don't get you kind of pumped up, ready for the show, something wrong with you. You just don't belong here at New Stuff TV, the Untechnical Tech Channel, the best infotainment on YouTube, baby. I'm your host, Antoine. Look at my two drivers in here, Richardson, because today we are talking about the Sony uh, SRS XB. 100. Look at this man, Sony has improved their dynamic driver at the top of this thing and let me tell you it is a force to be reckoned with. This little thing bangs man, it jams so hard. It's amazing how you can have such a small footprint of a speaker that's just so versatile. We'll get into that in a moment. Just so versatile but pack so much power and just have so much output. I put this thing in my kitchen my living room, my bedroom, and even outdoors in this office, and it has sounded fantastic in every environment. In fact, I liked it so much, I went ahead and got me another one, man. I needed two of these bad boys because you can pair them up in stereo mode, and I love the way they do it. They are app-connected speakers, but really all you gotta do is press and hold the little Bluetooth button right there, and they both go into stereo pairing mode, and then they start to look for each other. Right. All right, you hear that? This one's the left, this one's the right. And then you're, sta you're stared, you're paired in stereo. You got a left and right channel. You can separate these bad boys, get that open sound stage you're always looking for. Just, you know, fill up a room. Now you can only pair two of these together. So this is not party connect like the regular Sony stuff. This is just stereo connection because, hey, for the price of these things, you could get two and be very satisfied with the sound output you're gonna get from the two. But I kind of jumped the gun a little bit because I need to give you a field trip around this thing. For those of you who already own the Sony SRS XB13, you're gonna say, hey, this looks like the same speaker. Well, it kind of looks like it, but trust me, man, it is a different speaker. This is a whole different animal right here, aside from aesthetics. So you got this logo right here. There's your Sony logo. It is now embossed. It's not white like it used to be. And the body of it has ridges on the side instead of being smooth and then if you turn around to the back side that's where you got your power button you got your bluetooth button answering in calls and your play and pause button and also your plus and minus but if you go around here you'll see you know what this is called man don't be acting like you don't know what this is called this is the speaker booty once you open it up you got your usb-c input right there and that way you can charge it up and get up to 16 hours of battery life out of this little beast now sony has indeed upgraded the dynamic driver and in here and it sounds fantastic. We're getting more bass and more volume and the clarity and presence of your music is just great. I absolutely love it, man. And that's why I ended up getting two because my wife pretty much commandeered this one for me. She didn't took it up to her home office. So I had to, I had to literally borrow my own speaker from my wife to bring it to show it to you guys. So I said, screw it. I'll just buy my own and I like blue. So I decided to get the blue one. That's how much I liked it, man. I, I ended up getting two. But now I wanna talk about the versatility of this strap. I think in my last video of the XB13, I really did underplay how versatile this strap is. Uh, you know, it's something that's been done so simplistic that it was just overlooked. So when they give it to you out of the box, it comes just like this on the top right here. And it's just a big loop that you can undo and then kind of latch on to anything you want. But there's a little slit down here that helps you do other things with it. What makes it so versatile is that you can just unclasp it and then loop this around. This is not where the base comes out. This is not part of the radiator. These other ones are, these other little pockets. This is actually for the loop itself. So you just tuck that in there just like that. And then you have this going on and then you can interlock it with the clasp and then you can either carry it like this or have it with bow straps or you can lock it onto a handlebar. There are other speakers out there. I won't say any names. They do not latch onto a handlebar of a bike. This one in particular, I can actually latch it onto my scooter or my bike or anything like a tree or something like that. You could just loop it onto anything. And in my case, this actually turns out to be a major feature for me. And right now it looks like I got a little cup of coffee in my hand. I'm not drinking coffee though. I'm drinking that base because this is the XB13. This thing packs so 
much more thump than the last model, the XP13. When you sit it on the table, it won't vibrate around and move and stuff like that because it has this bottom on it that has this kind of neoprene or rubber coating on it. So it's gonna really grip to a table if you set it down there. So don't worry about turning it up at full volume and then coming back later and it's on the ground somewhere. It's gonna stay put, but trust me, it is going to vibrate the table. If I turn this thing on right now, I will feel it on the floor. But this thing is really just intended for being played at moderate volumes. It's not a party speaker, even though it tries to act like it is. It's just, it's like the perfect office speaker or the perfect grab and go speaker where you just, you know, maybe walk around, going to sit at a park or something like that. It is what I would call a personal Bluetooth speaker. And it does that job extremely well. And here's something Sony did, which I can appreciate that you don't get with a lot of speakers of this size from other companies is app connectivity. Right here, you can just go into the Sony Music app. You can see what your battery life is there. You can go into your own personal library and you can even skip over to YouTube Music or whatever music service you're using like iHeartRadio. And then you can go into your settings. They don't give you anything to manipulate in here, but the fact that they still have it here means that they can give you OTA updates all the time if you need them, which I don't think you ever really will because this speaker it comes fine tuned right out of the box with no adjustments to the sound or anything necessary. And here's a little fun fact, if you have two of them and you partner them up in stereo mode, once you turn them off, when you turn them back on, they will still be locked into stereo mode and they will pair up to each other automatically once again. So you can get that party started once again without having to go back into the pairing process. But I know you guys and girls always want to know the answer to that one question. That's the only reason why you come here, man. I and mean, now you're starting to harass me with that one question. But does it jam though? <laughs> Man, I told you it jams. Look, have I ever led you astray before? When I say it jams, it jams. And you know what? Another clutch feature, aside from the actual handle, is the fact that it has a built-in speakerphone. And in fact, you're listening to the call quality from the blue one right now. It sounds so good, man. I actually use it all the time. It just, it does really well at canceling out background noise while still capturing the quality of your voice to the point where you can actually have a conversation on this thing. And you know what? I think all companies, anyone who makes a micro speaker, I call it a micro speaker or a personal speaker, anyone making speakers this size, it should by default come with a speakerphone like built in because it's with you a lot of the times. Sony thought of everything, man. You got the clutch handle, pun intended, and then you got the, the bass, the extra bass, and then you got very vastly improved audio quality over last the last model. And then that speakerphone comes in so hard in the paint. Sony, you did it. I'm not an expert in this kind of stuff, but what I do know is a quality product when I have it in my hand. And you're also looking at my new favorite speaker that I'm going to be just carrying around with me all the time. It's like, it, the reason I got blue is because I latch it onto my backpack and it just rolls right into the aesthetics of all the rest of my tech gear. Plus it sounds damn good, man. The audio quality is excellent. The speakerphone is so clutch and it's so versatile with the uses of this strap. And it was so good. I had to get two because my wife stole my other one. That's where I'm at in life. I got to get two of everything now, I guess. I, God, I hope not. <laughs> Either way, I got to get out of here, man. Y'all keep being good to each other and I'll see you when I see you. <laughs> that was a lot, man. That took a lot of oxygen out of me, man. <laughs> okay. Whew, okay.